Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Use a Web Videos. Today, we have an intriguing topic to discuss that has been making headlines recently. George Stephanopoulos, a prominent anchor at ABC News, was caught on video expressing his doubts about President Joe Biden's ability to serve another term. This incident has sparked a lot of discussions, and we're here to break down all the details for you. Let's dive in. Just a few days ago, George Stephanopoulos conducted an exclusive interview with President Joe Biden. This interview was significant because it was Biden's first major on-camera appearance since a challenging debate performance. Stephanopoulos pressed Biden on his mental acuity and other pertinent issues, which raised eyebrows in the media. Following this interview, Stephanopoulos was approached by a pedestrian while he was out in New York City. The pedestrian asked him if he thought Biden should step down. Without hesitation, Stephanopoulos responded, I don't think he can serve four more years. This candid remark was caught on video by TMZ and quickly went viral. The context of this interaction is crucial. Stephanopoulos was in casual attire, possibly not expecting to be recorded, which might explain his unfiltered response. However, his words have significant implications given his prominent role in the media and his past affiliations with the Democratic Party. ABC News responded to this incident by stating that Stephanopoulos's comments were his personal views and not representative of the network's stance. Stephanopoulos himself issued a statement expressing regret for making such a candid remark in public, but he did not retract his opinion. This situation highlights the delicate balance that journalists must maintain between their personal opinions and their professional responsibilities. It also underscores the intense scrutiny that President Biden's campaign is currently under, especially regarding his age and health. In the days following the TMZ video, various media outlets picked up the story. CNN's Oliver Darcy analyzed the situation, emphasizing that Stephanopoulos's comments reflect broader concerns within the media about Biden's ability to serve another term. Darcy noted that many journalists no longer buy into the narrative that Biden and his campaign are selling, which poses a significant challenge for the president. The New York Times also covered the story focusing on the aftermath of Stephanopoulos's remarks. They pointed out that during his interview with Biden, Stephanopoulos had already challenged the president about his health and fitness for office. The candid nature of the off-the-cuff comment only amplified these concerns. This incident comes at a time when some members of Congress and other political figures are also expressing doubts about Biden's ability to continue as president. Despite these concerns, the White House has maintained that Biden is committed to serving a full term if re-elected. The reaction to Stephanopoulos's comment has been mixed. Some people appreciate his honesty while others criticize him for making such a statement publicly. This scenario illustrates the complexities of modern journalism, where personal opinions can sometimes blur the lines with professional reporting. Now, let's address some tweets and social media reactions that have been circulating about this incident. One tweet by at Newswatcher123 states, Stephanopoulos just said what many are thinking. Biden's age is a real concern. Another by a political junkie 89 reads, Is it appropriate for journalists to share their personal opinions like this? These tweets capture the divided public sentiment. On one hand, there's a growing acknowledgement of the concerns regarding Biden's age. On the other hand, there's an ongoing debate about the role of journalists and the impact of their personal views on public discourse. 
As we continue to monitor this story, it's essential to remain objective and consider all perspectives. The coming months will likely bring more developments, especially as the 2024 presidential election draws closer. To wrap up, let's go over some key questions and answers related to this topic. What did George Stephanopoulos say about President Biden? He stated that he doesn't think Biden can serve another four years. Where was Stephanopoulos when he made this remark? He was in New York City, wearing workout clothes, and speaking to a pedestrian. How did ABC News respond to his comment? They clarified that his remarks were his personal views and not representative of ABC News. Did Stephanopoulos retract his statement? No, he expressed regret for making the comment publicly, but did not retract it. What was the focus of Stephanopoulos's interview with Biden? He challenged Biden on his mental acuity and his performance in the recent debate. How has the media reacted to Stephanopoulos's comment? Reactions have been mixed, with some appreciating his honesty and others criticizing the appropriateness of his remark. What are the public's main concerns about Biden's ability to serve another term? The primary concerns are related to his age and health. How has the White House responded to these concerns? They have reiterated that Biden is committed to serving a full term if re-elected. What impact could this incident have on Biden's campaign? It could amplify existing concerns about his fitness for office and influence public opinion. What lessons can journalists learn from this incident? It underscores the importance of maintaining a clear distinction between personal opinions and professional responsibilities. In conclusion, this incident with George Stephanopoulos highlights the challenges and complexities in political journalism today. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how this story develops and what implications it might have for the upcoming election. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to UsaWeb videos for more updates and analyses on trending news topics. See you in the next video.